Um, so, hey, so I wanted to make this video. It's about how to edit um, fast. This is the little intro for it. If you want to get these videos texted to you, and the, the, the rest, Project Forward Workshops, please text uh, to, uh, sorry, please text um, workshop, video editing, whatever you want to text. Text it to 949-297-6068, not whatever you want to text, either workshop or video workshop. That way you can get these um, sent to you via text and you don't miss any of them wherever we publish them. Um, other than that, I know a lot of people are going to say, hey, you didn't really talk about video editing. You didn't talk about Final Cut at all. You didn't talk about Adobe Premiere at all, dude. How is this a video editing thing? Because a lot of people, they're not being kept up because they don't have the right technology. They're being kept up from video editing because they don't have the right strategy. So I'm talking more about strategy. I will talk about Final Cut or Adobe later on, maybe. I don't really care how you put videos together. I'm I'm more trying to get you into the mindset of being able to be a producer, like a, like a television producer. Because one thing that they do well is they understand their resources, they understand their time, and they understand they have to get a product to the people. And that's what I want you to do. Enjoy this video, this part one, with Alex at Bobalicious. What's up, you got... Oh, okay, I think it started now. It's Kenyo here, um, and I'm at Bobalicious Cafe. You can find them on Instagram at Bobalicious underscore cafe and uh, I just wanted to start the video with some plugs. I'm here with Alex, the owner of Bobalicious. This is very cool and uh, we're meeting up because we, 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 we need to talk and because on Mondays we're starting, the, I'm starting, we're starting, I'm starting, we're starting, I'm starting, he has to be here because it's his business but I'm starting a workshop and we're starting a networking group too but the workshops are going to be Mondays, not every Monday but Mondays 12.30 and I kind of want to tackle the stuff that I know about doing business and share my info and uh, I wanted to make this video ironically about how to do really fast videos um, and I call it the fast video editing stuff and I also put up some information on projectforward.tv um, but it's all about how to edit video and how to produce fast videos every week because I think a lot of people they do get caught up on um, the video editing part of it and video editing can be really hard so I'm gonna dive into this I'm gonna use Alex as an example we haven't talked about your video strategy at all and I'm hoping that no customer actually I'm hoping the customers do come in because obviously <laughs> Alex wants customers in, but I'm hoping that we can do this because I want to show fast videos but um, we haven't talked about this at all I want to hear about Alex's video strategy and then I'm going to see if I can make some meaningful tweaks to his video strategy while also making a fast video and telling you how I'm going to make this video fast and how I'm going to make this video reach farther with my strategy. But first, we'll talk with Alex. Let me see what's going with video. How do you, how, how do you feel about putting video out into the universe? Yeah, I mean, it would be a good thing. Uh, I mean, you want to, but I mean, actually doing it. How do you feel about it? I, could, I would like to do something like that. Um, I know that you would like to. Okay, I, I let's, say, like, okay yeah, so let's say, why I aren't feel, you? Let's say that. Why haven't I? Yeah. Uh, just time. Time. And, uh, and the knowledge of video, doing videos and different yeah. types of videos. And okay. That. If you were going to try to do a video right now, you wanted to get a video out on Wednesday, you know, what, what, would, you, what would you be thinking? Why would you want to do that? What would be your strategy about it? What would, what would that even mean to you? What do you think? Um, well, maybe a video of, uh, I never thought about it, um, mm -hmm. never done videos before. Yeah. Um, maybe about how maybe a basic milk tea is done or yeah. something like that. Or, um, and that's a really good video. Ty types of teas are for the milk teas. Yeah. Like that. People love that kind of stuff. And I think when you haven't done a lot of videos, you actually usually come up with ideas that people would want to watch. So that's a really great idea. Um. Or maybe I think, like the origin of bubble teas, you know, just yeah. to get some kind of idea. Because San Antonio, even though uh, we've been, I've been doing it for 16 years, yeah. it's still, compared to other cities, bubble tea is still relatively new to San Antonio. Yeah, San Antonio is slow on some cultural <laughs> stuff. Yeah. It takes us a while. Even though we have it, we don't, we, we're we slow. I'm not sure why. But anyway, um, I <laughs> it's think... A, it's an old, uh, old town kind of. Yeah. Small town, big, big city, small town. Yeah, small town, they so, yeah, yeah, small town vibe. It's changing in a though. big city. A lot it of is people changing. coming from different from Florida, This area California. specifically is very cultured. You're here. There's a lot of. There's an Indian place right there. There's, 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 there's a lot of Syrian. Indian places. Yeah, on, there's, um, Evers. Yeah, Evers. Muslim. Yeah, Evers especially it just has a bunch of stuff on it. Okay, so video. So you have an idea for the video. I think so. To start, I would say it's interesting to think about what the reason we do videos are, and we do videos 
to have them be seen so that we can get business results. Mm -hmm. And in order to do that, we try to provide value in the video so that the person watching the video gets something out of the video. And we try to do that enough times to where they get so much stuff that they want to come inside and buy the stuff. So if you're, I think, sometimes people think, I think that their video is some sort of like, it's like a version of themselves. And so sometimes they're perfectionists with like that. It doesn't sound like you're like that. You, you said you just hadn't thought about it. Um, so anyway, once you know what a video is for and you're like, okay, I'm delivering value, you came up with a good idea. And the cool thing about what you came out with is that that's a series. You can do a bunch of videos. And I think when you figure out a series, that's a really cool hack in order to be able to produce videos really fast once you know what your series is. I started, when I really started producing video for myself, first I started with a poetry video. And even that was a series. It was a series of five videos that took me like three years. But... I also did, um, started doing a weekly series of videos called Go Live with Kenyo, and that really helped me do some other videos. Um, I mean, really get in the habit of doing weekly stuff. So series are cool, because then you know you don't have to think about a new idea every week. So once you have your series idea, I think the execution is interesting. And then this is where I want to drop the hack that I think will make it super easy for anyone to record video. One, do it like I'm doing right now with just your camera. Um, I think that's even better. And honestly, vertical video does really well right now because so many platforms do um, vertical video. But do it with your camera. Don't overthink it. I know people like to be perfectionists, but you're, you're, most people who are being perfectionists, it's not because your work is perfect. It's because you're insecure. Usually your work isn't even that much better than the people who aren't perfectionists. It's just that you're insecure about putting it out. So, And everyone's insecure about different stuff. But once you know it's because of insecurity, not because of the quality of work, then you can say, oh, I don't care that I'm insecure. Let me just put it out. Um, so put, do it on your camera, number one. Number two, that brings me to the platforms. When I said the vertical or horizontal, you should try to um, think about what platforms you want to put it on. You already have a nice Instagram. Um, the other platform, two other easy platforms to get on without thinking too much would be um, Facebook and YouTube. So knowing that you want to just make those three platforms, that's three different videos. That's one thing that people don't think about when they're getting into making videos. You can't make one video anymore because there isn't one uniform. It's just like they're used to, it's like... If you can't share it, you got to make three different Exactly. Videos. It's like if, if um, there was like five different kinds of VHS. I mean, this is a super throwback now. If there was a bunch <laughs> of different types of VHS, but you were only making your video in one type. Well, only the people with that one type of VHS player can, can use that video, which means everyone else just is never going to watch your stuff no matter what. So you have to think about the fact that right now there's probably like 30 different VHS players, but there's the top three, um, which is Instagram... Uh, it's top, top, top three as far as stability and like just like huge audiences. And um, so there's no more Snapchat. Or is it no, Snapchat is huge. I'm just saying top three right now. And if you're talking about like growth, I would say Snapchat, LinkedIn, TikTok. But if we're talking about stability, I think a good starting place is Instagram, Facebook, and um, YouTube. So when you're thinking about those three different videos that you want to make, Instagram is a one minute video. It's a one minute video that is. Um, it could be square, it could be how we're doing this one, or it can be um, somewhat vertical, not full video vertical. What's um, square? Square, like, nine by nine. Like, oh, it's okay. actually, like you can do okay. square videos, or you can do, you know, widescreen videos, Pretty or clear. you can do horizontal videos. Um, the horizontal videos aren't full horizontal, though, in the one-minute videos. They also have IGTV, which I'm not even going to get into right now. That's basically Instagram's YouTube, which you can also upload videos, and those are only in vertical. So if you wanted to do those four, that would be four different videos that you would be editing. I never even heard of that one. IGTV. Yeah, that one's new, and it's actually very good. So as far as growth, I would probably take off LinkedIn and put IGTV, actually, now that I think about it. But let's focus on those three platforms so it doesn't seem too confusing. Um... So you know that you have three different videos you have to make. A one-minute video for Instagram, however long you want for YouTube, preferably longer than 15 minutes, actually. Um, and then the same thing for Facebook. Facebook, it doesn't really matter. But I think long, if you have the long form, you can just put it on there. And the cool thing about YouTube and Facebook is those can actually be the same videos. As long as you don't say anything specific in one of the videos I mean, it doesn't really matter because they, those can be the same videos because the platforms are the same. They both thrive off horizontal video like this, so you're, you're pretty safe. So now that you know that you those are the same two videos, those videos are done at the same time. You record this video as soon as you press stop, those videos are done. Um, you guys, uh, I'm outside of Bobalicious right now. My, vid my phone stopped because I had to delete to get more space. Alex is still in there, and he actually has a customer now. 
Um, but I told him I would just finish the video and send him the link. And that's part of my strategy. I'm gonna go really fast though, because I don't wanna, my, I might run out of space again. So anyway, um, let me say what I was saying. So those videos, they're done once you make them. Now the Instagram video is gonna be a little bit trickier. What I would do before you have a lot of skill, just take the video that you already did, upload the first minute of it to Instagram and tell people that they can watch more of it on YouTube and Facebook. There you go, you're done, all the videos. Now all you have to do is worry about publishing. Now depending on your phone, you might have a little trouble with that, budget to spend just as much time publishing as you do editing. This is Bo Belicious, by the way. I just wanted you to see that. That's where we're going to be doing um, these Monday workshops and filming, and hopefully we'll cover a couple different topics. Not just me, but other um, creators around here from Project Forward and, and maybe even some other guests. So, you have to think about publishing. We'll talk about publishing next time, but I hope this helps you think about how to get started. So this is part one, how to edit videos fast for social media. I hope you guys enjoyed this and um, I'm gonna do it again next time with Alex. And um, we're gonna talk about publishing next time. Publishing is very simple, as long as you don't make it too complicated. But again, let me stop right here. I'm um, Kenyo, follow me on social media, at KenyoHQ. Make sure you go to Project Forward tv on YouTube. Um, subscribe to that and also subscribe to my YouTube. And um, if you want this information texted to you, you don't want to miss any of these workshops, go ahead and send a text that says video workshop. Text video workshop to 949-297-6068. Uh, Once again, thank you for watching this whole video. We're going to do part two. If you want all this stuff texted to you, text 949-297-6068. Thank you guys for watching. Once again, it's Kenya.